Hello, and welcome to my Flow Lab game called Grinch's Heist. Now, um, when you first load it up, you will be greeted with how to play the game. So you capture all the gifts, there are three in each level, and you avoid the who's. You press spacebar to continue. The Grinch moves with either WASD or up left, down, and right arrows. Um, I had both of those configurations so that um, the player has the choice. Just to make things easier. And also, um, if you want to replay a certain level, you can hit 1, 2, or 3 to play the corresponding level. So, here's my game. Now, since I last updated, I've added all the artwork, and I don't think I had all of the levels set in stone, but here's the first level. So you begin by going down the chimney and avoiding this first enemy. Now something new is, um, well of course the animations, but um, also this Christmas tree, which just acts as an obstacle. So if you manage to touch one of these who's, you'll get caught and you'll have to restart the game. Now, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, so hopefully I can win this. Oh, yeah. Um, Flow Lab has very um, specific hitboxes that are hard to control, so it's very hard to make it so that the game has very specific hitboxes. So a lot of times you will think that you're going to get past a who, but you'll actually end up hitting them. So you'll just have to take things slow and not rush it like I'm doing. So I can continue and go to the next level. Now if you'll notice, whenever I get a gift, it'll add to the counter. I'll just restart this. So it added to the counter. Now when I get all three gifts, it'll trigger the next level option. And this part is fun. See if you're fast enough you can outrun that who. <laughs> and now for the last level, going down the chimney, I'm going to avoid these stationary who's grab the gift and just run past all of those who's and we'll wait for this one and so that was the last level we'll continue and success you stole Christmas so let's go back to the first level we'll just refresh it and I, I added a little cheat, so um, on this first screen I can um, go back to the first level by pressing 1. So here is the Grinch himself. Um, it's movable, enable collisions, and it's solid. Um, here is all of my movement. You see I have A and left arrow for um, the movement for the x-axis, also with the D key and the right key. Um, etc. And so I have the animation of the back and forth arms moving um, is triggered by position. And I think this is not necessary. So whenever you collide with a gift, you will have this expression. Um, pretty much this whole thing, this whole setup is um, this gift counter right here. Now, um, I don't fully understand Flow Lab, <laughs> um, but these four nodes I copied from the Coin Collector tutorial. So, um, yes. Now, when you get all three gifts, it'll trigger the alert, and you'll click it, and that'll let you go to the next level. 
and these are the shortcuts, the 1, 2, and 3, so that you can replay a level 1, 2, or 3. And we'll take a look at an enemy. So this is a still enemy, so there's not going to be any movement. Um, but when you collide with an enemy, then it'll trigger the restart level option. And this is just the animation that keeps on looping. Now for the left and right enemies, um, we have movement, which is always going forward. But um, it flips back to the other direction, triggered by um, colliding with boundaries, trees, or the gifts. Now, um, this mailbox is... Um, I'm telling it to destroy the left and right enemies, the, the ones that move left and right, whenever the game ends. And the reason I did that is because on level... I think level 2, whenever you would have your character run to this gift right here, you would collect that gift, and then um, if that was like, your last gift, it would say, you know, continue to the last, the next level, but right after that, the game would continue for a split second, and the who would, would catch you anyways so it would just make you restart the level. So having them destroy themselves after all three gifts are caught just ensures that there won't be any glitches like that. So for the Grinch, I have um, a very basic animation. If it'll let me click on it, I'll just try another level. And of course, the animation, like I said, is triggered by the position, but um, we can take a look at the animation by going to edit and looking at the sprites. And so this is what plays whenever um, he moves. And it's just a basic up and down with the moving hat to make things interesting. Okay, so that was my game, Grinch's Heist. I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any more questions, you can just let me know, and I'll see you later.